Boom! Boom! Cube! <laughs> Welcome back, folks, to another product spotlight with your host, Douglas Smith of Shaving.com. Today, as you've already guessed, we'll be looking at how you can truly take your shave to a whole nother dimension. All this and more. Not really more, but all this when we get back after the intro. You'll be the life of the party. You'll be the life of the party. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned in the intro, we are going to be looking at one of my favorite products by us, the Cube. This, my friends, is, well, not only is it the Cube, it's also the cure for a bad shave. It's um, a most excellent device when going for that damn fine shave, meaning it's going to add so much to so many soaps. It's going to add so much more to a good soap, it's gonna add so much to a bad soap. It's just an all around good idea to use as a pre-shave. But what is a pre-shave? <laughs> Sorry folks, I have to chime in real quick. Pre-shave oil sucks, okay? There, I said it. And I don't feel bad about it either because I really do think it sucks. However, this is just my opinion. So if you do enjoy using pre-shave oil, more power to you. I, on the other hand, find it just, well, sucks. It gunks up my razor, as you can see right here. This is classic example. See the little tiny hairs stuck there? Little tiny hairs in my hand. Um, my sink, if you can see that. There's oil in my sink around here. It's a pain in the butt to clean up. Uh, for me, you know, tr traditional shaving, it should be boom, 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 boom. The, the longest part of traditional shaving should be the shave, but I mean like, I got it on my hands, which you don't really wanna do when you're shaving. Most people I find apply it with the hand they're gonna use to shave with, which is super dangerous. So I just don't like the oils. Uh, it leaves this residue that I don't like on my face. Some of them uh, are made with olive oil, which kill lather. But at the end of the day, it just gunks up my razor. Now all this oil on here, I have to clean this off, off afterwards rather than just rinse. You know, in the sink, because as we know, water and oil don't play well with each other. So now I have to actually get in there and really clean off that oil. The oil in the sink, I can feel this residue. I just, it's just a bloody mess. The pre-shaved soaps, pre-shaved jellies, pre-shaved products, other than oils, make me incredibly happy. Um, so there's that. Consider that. <laughs> okay, back to Doug. A pre-shave is, well, as you probably guessed, uh, something you apply before the shave. My pre-shave soaps are a little different. For the last six years, we've been doing pre-shave soaps. In fact, we're the first pre uh, company to do a pre-shave soap, as far as I know. Uh, granted, there were some glycerin soaps in the past that people would gravitate to and use, but they weren't designed to be pre-shave soaps. They just happened to work. Um, but we were the first ones to actually put time and energy into developing a truly effective pre-shave soap. With you know, We had a goal. We wanted to add slickness, we wanted to add glide, we wanted to add protection, and most importantly, we wanted to add a lather boost. Meaning that if you're, the soap you're using, that may not, may not be up to par in the lather department, this would aid in getting it there. Uh, not only that, we also were the first to introduce a mentholated pre-shave soap as well. Meaning that you can use this again with any soap, any non-mentholated soap, and suddenly you can turn it into a mentholated shave. This wasn't, this wasn't thought of before, this wasn't done before. So this, these are just different innovations we brought with our uh, original pre-shave soaps, which are great. They're still great, they're still wonderful. Just a little bit different in, in, uh, in concept, if you will. The cube, well, one of the main things that makes a difference is it's huge. This is five ounces. <laughs> it's gonna last for a long time, depending on how you use it, really. But I mean, this is five ounces of soap. So it's a great deal right there, a lot of value. But it's also packed with activated bamboo charcoal. Um, now, what's so special about bamboo charcoal? Bamboo charcoal is actually pretty amazing stuff when it comes to uh, providing your skin with a, a slew of benefits, if you will. However, in shaving soap, I don't know what it is, I can't figure it out, but it seems to create this slurry or this slick that really adds um, glide to the shave. And not only that, it adds to the post-shave feel. And I came to this conclusion after doing a few different soaps that 
uh, included activate trackle on the ingredient list. The first one was lump of coal, obviously, which is one we do every, <laughs> every holiday season. Every Christmas you can buy a lump of coal for that very special person in your life. But you should also consider picking one up for yourself because there's something about that soap. I don't know what it is exactly, but I think I've got narrowed it down to it's the inclusion of charcoal. There's just a high amount of charcoal in that. For some reason or another, it adds so much to that post-shave feel. So with that in mind, I decided to add it to the pre-shave soap to see what would happen. Uh, not only does it contain activated charcoal, it also contains prickly pear oil, locally, prickly pear oil that we uh, source locally, uh, which adds to the glide, adds to the slickness, and adds to the protection. Also adds to the vitamin E content. You'll notice that all the oils I'm about to name have high vitamin E contents. Uh, pear oil, oh, I'm sorry, not pr a prickly pear oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil. All three of them uh, have a, a huge amount of vitamin E in them, which, well, it's, it's an interesting fact. A little side note, it's, you know, not only is it wonderful to the skin, not only does it add to the moisture in the skin due to the fatty acid content. The fatty acid content helps the skin maintain, like grab and maintain that moisture. So that will add to the bull shape feel. But another thing is it's great for uh, protecting cells from UV, UV rays. So I don't know if you know this or not, but many soaps that contain you know, uh, citrus, citrus oils, usually as a top note, uh, are, create a UV sensitivity. So in the summertime, I kind of shy away from using citrus scents, which I think you know, sounds kind of counterintuitive because it's citrusy, it's summery, but it can also bring attention to your face via the sun. Uh, it, it creates this photo sensitivity, if you will. So to get around that, I recommend using this as a pre-shave too. Because those fatty acids, those, that vitamin E will protect you against UV rays. Uh, that's just a little side note, and, and that's not the, the reason why I would pick this up, but just I thought it was an interesting factoid. Uh, it also contains a high amount of glycerin, and for those of you who know glycerin, glycerin is a byproduct of the, the soap making process of saponification, is what we call it as soap makers. But um, it's a byproduct. But what's great about that byproduct, glycerin, is it's a humectant. A humectant is. Yeah, and it's really gonna suck that moisture in, that water in, the, into the hair, making it fat, giving it more uh, surface for the blade to really bite onto. Uh, so, I mean, that's what, I mean, that's what Appreciate's all about. That, in my mind, anyways, it keeps the moisture on your face longer before you even get to the lather part. So, there's that. Uh, I guess I could just go into, really, how you use this, because I, I know a few people are confused by the cube. Rightly so. It is kind of epic in its own way. Um, how you use the cube, or in pretty much any one of my pre-shave soaps, is you wash your face first with it. Before the shave, I recommend a shower. Some people like to shower before they shave. I highly recommend that. It gives, you know, the hairs more time to suck up the water. But, you know, some people maybe just want to wash their face at the sink and then begin the shave. When you're doing that, be in the shower or at the sink, wash with the pre-shave soap first. This will degrease your face. Because there's natural oils all over your face. And I know they're typically good at protecting your skin and whatnot, but when it comes to a shave, they're, they're not the same slick oils. They're protective oils. That's what the skin produces. So it's going to trip up the blade if you don't get this grease off your face. There'll be a little bit of stuttering action there. Naturally, this just happens. Uh, you may not notice at all, but you want to degrease the face first. Once you're done with that, get out of the shower, rinse off the soap, whatever. You know, rinse off in the shower, rinse off at the sink. But before, now before you lather, up your shave soap, you want to reapply this, the pre-shave soap, against the grain. In doing this, the little tiny hairs that's going against are going to grab onto this, just holding it on your face. So that's going to, that's great. You know, you're already, you're getting it on the face, and now you would apply any lather from any soap that you choose to use on top of this. So now you're building up a lather. And that's another great thing about this, as I mentioned earlier, is it boosts the lather too. So the, the little hairs grabbing on a little bits and pieces of this, it's in there, it's, you're activating this lather boost as you build the lather on your face, and that's it. You only use this once, and this is gonna take your shave to another level. The protecting and shielding and glide that it adds is, it's unsurpassed. I mean, you really, it's, I haven't seen anything quite like this. I can't say enough good things about the cube, except <laughs> the cube duck. When I first um, released the cube, I kept getting these emails and PMs from folks saying, hey, what, how do I store it? What, what, what do I do with that? And, uh, you know, in my mind, I always thought, well, it's soap, you know, just put it in a soap dish. 
But that seemed to like people were like, oh, you know, like almost shot them down because the cube, it's such a mysterious thing. I've worked so hard on creating the story and, and mystery and mythology around it that to say, put it in a soap dish seemed kind of tame. So with that in mind, we went back to the drawing board and came up with the cube duck. The cube duck. Ooh, mysterious cube duck. This in my mind is where the cube comes to charge every day, <laughs> at the end of the day. And so now we offer the cube duck, which you can pick up with the cube or separately if you already have a cube. But I highly recommend it. It's a great place to store it. And it looks really cool too. Um, so again, mentholated, not mentholated. Though they both, in this case, are mentholated. But you can pick up mentholated or non-mentholated. This time of year, being the end of summer, I highly recommend mentholated. I love it. Even if you don't like menth mentholated soaps, shave soaps, you might like it in this uh, delivery system, if you will, because you can kind of control how much menthol is going on your face. And then you can take a non-mentholated soap and control it in that regard as well. So there's that. But I mean, I just, I've had a lot of people that hate menthol that are gravitating towards this and really enjoying it. So keep that in mind, folks. It is an option. It's something you, you know, it's like this. With wet shaving, traditional shaving, with the journey, if you will, stuff that you didn't like in the beginning, different blades, different razors, different products, different scents even, you have to return to every like six months, every year. Uh, six months to a year, keep returning back to some stuff. Don't throw everything away the first sniff or the first use if you don't like it. Because your technique's gonna change, your whole concept of shaving is gonna change, your ideas of shaving, uh, you're gonna become more mature in it, if you will, more sophisticated. Definitely your nose will too. So stuff you didn't like out of the bottle in the beginning, you may like six months from now, you may like a year from then. So keep that in mind. And so that, I'm, the only reason why I'm speaking of that is because this is menthol, and again, I've turned many people that hate menthol into menthol lovers with the cube. So that's it, folks. That is the cube. Five ounces of awesome that'll really work synergistically to take your shave to a whole nother dimension. Just like that. Boom! <laughs> okay, thanks for joining, folks. This has been another uh, wonderful product spotlight with your host, Douglas Smythe from phoenixshaving.com. Please like, subscribe, and comment below to enter our weekly giveaway and win. That's right, folks. Win a cube and its own little charging station, if you will. <laughs> the dock. Take care, folks, and I'll see you in our next product spotlight.